Welcome back to DBL. It has been 34 years since actress Marley Matlin made history, becoming the first and still only deaf actor to win an Oscar for her groundbreaking role in Children of a Lesser God. Since then, she has starred in numerous TV shows, including The West Wing, Reasonable Doubts, The L Word, and Switched at Birth. Today, she joins us to talk about her new Oscar-nominated short film that she co-executive executive produced. Her interpreter, Jack Jason, is also with us off screen. Marley, thank you for joining us here in DVL. We are huge thank fans. Uh, I want to start by talking, aw. Oh, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. It's our pleasure. It's our honor. I want to start by talking about your groundbreaking role in Children of a Lesser God. You were just 19 when you were cast in that film and ended up winning an Oscar for Best Actress, well-deserved. You were the youngest winner ever and first deaf actress to win the award. How did you handle that sudden fame at 19 years old? Well, uh, back then, there was no social media. Back then, there was no... Uh, anything that would, you know, terrify the hell out of me <laughs> while the Oscar campaign was going on because I it was it was so different. I was nominated. Remember, I was in rehab when I was nominated. I had no idea about uh, you know what the, it, it entails to, to to be on an Oscar campaign about the dress, about all the stuff that you had to get. You know who who's next to who now. It's completely <laughs> different. It's a little too much. But it, it's been an interesting ride. I have to tell you that it's way different from the you know 34 years ago. All right. Hey, Marley, this is Al Jackson. Uh, let's let's be honest. You are killing it right now. You are an executive producer on a new short film called Feeling Through. It's up for an Oscar this year. I watched it. I agree. It's also the first film to star a deaf blind actor. Let's take a look. Young man. Uh, Marley, uh, I watched this movie, and uh, I'll just tell you before I get to my question, it really hit me how it, it just showed me, because I look back at my life, and I realized that a lot of times when I, when I changed for the better, it was in a situation when I felt like people weren't looking. I feel like that's when you really decide what kind of person you're going to be when you're able to either go the wrong way or the right way, but at the same time, you're kind of, no one's there to judge you, it's just you. And I saw that in this film. So what can you tell us about the film and why it was important to cast a deafblind actor in this role? In all honesty, um, the film was already, I mean, it's based on a true story. Uh, the director, Doug Rowland, who, uh, it, it happened to him, it happened to him. So he wrote about this experience in this, in this fictionalized version of it. Uh, you know, meeting a deafblind gentleman in the, in the night changed his perspective. It changed how he you know, saw his fellow human being and in the film, uh, Tariq is somebody, the, the homeless guy is somebody who can't find a place to stay for the night and is struggling to find a path. And, and he's, he's sort of wallowing in his pity. And then suddenly there's a, a person there, a deaf blind guy that changes his life for the better. It's, um, it probably happens to a lot of people where you have an encounter with somebody that is unexpected, that changes the path that you're on and it becomes a learning experience. Um, and I think it also gives you an opportunity to you know, do some self-examination. And I think the film does a really good job of that, that there are other people out there who can make your life better, who can, uh, you know, whether they're asking you for help or whether they're somebody on the street who is homeless or somebody even who lives across the street. It's all about the connection of two people. It's all about humanity. Loved it. Marley, Jeff here, thank you so much for being on DBL, but I have this great question for you. We've been having a conversation about quote unquote actors with disabilities, right? Should they play their different roles? So the actor Riz Ahmed is up for an actor, or an Oscar I should say, for playing a man who goes deaf. How do you feel about non-disabled actors playing characters with disabilities? Well, um, for example, in Children of Lesser God, I was a deaf person acting 
as a deaf person and the role happened to be deaf, that's called authenticity, okay? Authenticity is the big word in Hollywood these days, the capital A. All these years, people really haven't realized how important it is to have uh, an actor who happens to have a disability play a role with a disability. There's so many actors out there who, you know, I mean, listen, all these years that we've had, I'm never gonna discount a role that somebody has taken on. Uh, but I think it's time that we should look at the deaf actors, the deaf blind actors, the disabled actors in Hollywood, in our community, who can write, who can direct, and who can act, and that we shouldn't assume disability is a costume that one puts on or takes off. So I'm really excited that a lot of people now are realizing that, that Hollywood is talking about that, and they're collaborating with our community, working together, and uh, making more beautiful work, because it's authentic. So I, I'm glad that you, you that you feel relief, right, Marley, that you've seen some progress in Hollywood. But do you feel that there has been enough progress in terms of diversity, not only in front of the camera, but also behind the camera uh, in Hollywood? I mean, there's still always there's always work to do. There's always work to do. And certainly we aren't just going to sit back and stay quiet. Our community is very vocal, whether we're talking about with our voices or with our hands. Um, there are some films, I think, that are out there that um, you will still see every once in a while where disability is like a costume that an actor puts on and takes off. But I think it's important to open a dialogue, to have a conversation, and, and do what we can to make progress. And again, if we're talking about writers, directors, whatever it may be. Incredible. You really are uh, not only an incredible actor, but now an executive producer, an activist. We are so appreciative of you. Thank you for coming on DBL. And also to all of our viewers, you can watch her new Oscar nominated short film, Feeling Through, on watch YouTube. It. Yes, we highly recommend really it. Thank you so much, Marley. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you. be right back. Thanks.